Hello and welcome to the video demonstration for our Universal Star System. Uh, the system is designed to cover any sport or event. Uh, we're running in darkroom, photo enhancement software. I'm going to hit the letter B to bring up the border selection guide. We're going to work with an 8x10 vertical number 2. This is the complete set. Um, all the individual files, all the individual multiple layer border files are also uh, available separately. So I'm going to open the 8x10 vertical 2. I've already typed in the name and team information. So I'm just going to say OK. And the photo drops into the border. And the green background is just a default background. And uh, I'm going to move the photo a little bit. You can enlarge the photo or decrease the photo uh, by using the wheel on your mouse. And just simply click and drag to move the photo. And uh, we'll go ahead and start adding some uh, graphics to the image. Um, I'm using the color editor and the graphic list editor, uh, which are both very powerful features of the darkroom platform. Uh, first thing we'll do is sample her jersey, which is red. You see that drops into the background. I'm actually going to go in and pick a pure red um, through the color interface and darken it just slightly to get a more pure red. Make that pop a little bit more. Uh, then we're going to go to the frame color. You see the frame effect, uh, which is a white, sort of a sparkling effect around the frame. I'm going to sample the gold in the softball a logo on her shirt. And now we'll go to the outline color. I'm going to do the same thing using the gold. As you see, that drops into the name and the team name. Um, I can also change the text color, uh, but I really like the black right now, so I think I'm going to stick with that. You can always go in and change it if you like later. All the text is set to float. Uh, many of the graphics that I'm about to go through are also set to float so that you can grab them and, and move them to any location you like. I like uh, the way the descender is going right into the uh, team name, the Astros. I'm using all caps. You can do it upper, lowercase, whatever you like. Uh, jumping into the graphic list editor. Um, I'm going to move the photo. I'm just going to grab it, just move it out of the way so you can see the background graphics. I'm going to turn off the star field, and this is the core of the universal system, or the heart, the foundation of the universal system. These are called graphic overlay layers. Um, let see if I can click the right layer, going back to the graphic overlay black. There it is at 50%. There it is uh, fading into the bottom, and then fading into the top. Um, we repeat those graphic overlay layers in white, depending on the photo. Um, you'll find one works better than the other. I typically find I'm using the black layers about 85% of the time. I'm going to bring the photo back in and go ahead and use... I think we'll go ahead and, and, and go with this one. Hard to decide. Um, then we'll jump into the star field. This is uh, designed, as I said, to cover any uh, sport or event. And just by clicking, uh, you bring in this particular star field, number one. Uh, the star field's at 75% of opacity. By clicking it again, it'll go to 100%. Um, and at this point, I'm going to go ahead and add some lighting layers. The lighting layers work uh, on the top. There's two selections for each. And it's set for the top, bottom, left, and right, so that you can call in, like here on the left, uh, the lighting layer in 50 or 100% opacities. And there's also a full lighting layer control that brings it in on all four sides, which I'm going to go ahead and turn on now at 50%. The goal always being to emphasize and or uh, exaggerate the photograph and uh, complement the photograph, I should say. Now we're going to go back to the star field. Okay, that was uh, the 100 at uh, the star 1. Here it is fading into the bottom at 75. Uh, here's left to right at 75 left to right at 100, and uh, fade to the left, fade to the left at 100, then a completely different sort of fading in the center version, and a just a completely different uh, star field version number four, uh, running at 100%. Um, I think we'll go with this one. Um, going into the other graphics, there's also a large star glow effect that really needs to work with the big star, as we call it. And the big star comes in at 
75 trans 75 percent transparency or you can go ahead and kick it up to 100 and uh, there's some really interesting things going on back there spinning around and you can add if you like what we call the big strike uh, a lightning strike coming in all the way around uh, behind the photograph and you have three different levels of opacity to bring that in you can see how powerful the transparency on the team name is here with the lightning going through it uh, it's a really nice touch I should mention too that all the text is set we're working in the workshop interface of the darkroom platform which is one of the many powerful interfaces in the software um, but you have the ability to come in and select any font that you'd like uh, of course select font size uh, the bold or, or italic um, and then there's just a host of other features including transparency shadows um, you can set it to float um, just a multitude of features I'm just going to cancel uh, but this is set so that you can access any of the text uh, in the uh, border I'm going to go ahead and turn off the big strike there's also a lightning strike that goes behind the photo just through the team name to light that up and then there's another strike that you can utilize that comes in in front of the photograph again to just sort of make the team name jump I'm going to uh, turn off the strike behind and go ahead and kick up the uh, strike number three up to 85 percent there's also a metal grill that comes in behind the name that works both with the lightning and the team name to create a cohesive graphic um, we've also added multiple MVP symbols there's three different versions there's one on fire and these are also set to flow so that you can drag it anywhere you like in the composition and that is just one version of the mask base this is the mask that the photo drops into uh, the mass based uh, Unistar 8x10 vertical uh, just to show you how different you can make it look quickly just by using the universal layers and turning the stars off altogether uh, there's the version with the star field turned off but with the big star turned on let's take a look at it with the uh, big star and transparent and uh, go back to our graphic overlay black layer see it just changes everything and maybe go with the solid uh, black and red and again with the lighting layers if I were to kick up the lighting layer up to 65 percent again it pushes the photograph forward and these, this system is also designed to work with green screen and uh, I'm going to select the green screen image and grab the green screen border hit the letter B on my keyboard to bring that up um, see 8 by 10 there it is green screen and whether you actually extract an image as I did with this one uh, which can be done in all kinds of software uh, Photoshop 5 is, is extremely powerful uh, being able to extract images um, bring her in and again I'm going to choose a very pure red and then darken it just a little by adding black uh, you can also select RGB equivalents to the exact numerical values uh, you can save the colors once you've picked them um, and it's just there's a lot of uh, flexibility so I'm going to say okay to that background changes again uh, I'm going to go with uh, the gold and the outline color if I can click it there we go now this particular is a uh, border uses a different typeface uh, for the Astros and uh, I really like transparency so I'm going to go in and it, right now it's set at 75 I'm going to bring that down to 45 yeah uh, the name takes a little bit more precedence than the team name but it's still very much there um, okay now we can start having fun with the uh, lighting layers and again I'm going to use the full lighting layer that brings in from all four corners all four sides I should say and I think that's really really powerful and um, We'll bring in the graphics now. Of course, you could you could work with your star field. Um, it's uh, a lot of options to say the least. Or 
to decide which one to pick. I think I'll go with the uh, first one that we, we began the project with. And uh, I'll go with the 75%. Now you can bring in uh, the Big Star and the Star Glow. Um, I like the Big Star at 75% and add the glow behind it. It's a nice effect. And then we've uh, added on the green screen version a series of frames uh, also called mask glows or called mask glows. As you can see there's some really wild stuff going on uh, framing her in a rectangle with rounded corners. Uh, here's a brighter version. Here's a version with uh, notches that match the graphic overlay behind it. And another version, uh, higher opacity. And then this asymmetrical version, which I think is very interesting. Turn off the big star. So you can really see that. And the big star glow. And turn up the mask glow effect. I like it a little more transparent. And again, you have the uh, lightning strikes that you can bring in. The big strike behind her. Lots of electricity. And then perhaps bring... I think that's a little too much for me. Uh, bring in the strike. This will run across the bottom through the team name. And in front of uh, the subject, in front of Jennifer here. And again, of course, you can add the uh, the grill behind the, the team name and an MVP if you choose. And move that anywhere you like. And again, the text is also set to move. So, whatever you want to do. And again, you have full access to the uh, text dialog boxes uh, by just simply double-clicking and going into it. Um, just as a final version here. That's how it looks. Just the universal system without any star field whatsoever. It's a, a nice clean effect, I think. And then again, you can go into your graphic overlays and work with that a little bit. Anyways, uh, that is the 8x10 version. Uh, the full set includes just about everything you would ever need. 8x10 uh, and under. And then uh, you can take it into any size, any dimension you want through some custom work and or working with the setup interface uh, that comes with the darkroom program. Thank you.